Hello guys, this is Muhammad Abdul Qayyum. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you about something like uh, XML visualization and uh, download the XML in text file. Uh, actually, one of my friend asked me to do something like this, like he wants to show the XML in a static report and then he wanna download the XML in a text file. So for the, for him actually I made the video and now I'm publishing here. Okay, so actually let's see what we actually going to develop. So we see uh, nothing more actually just uh, I just create a column extra column called XML and the type of the column is uh, syllab see it's a syllab type column and I put the put a XML over there you know about syllab column so and then what then I did what like I show the XML data in this format and here I put a burden or link whenever you click on this download link download link then it will download a uh, text where you can see the full example so it's not a not a difficult task it's very easy so let's see how I did it first of all I'm going to create a page like XML <laughs> there is like capital and smaller okay do you okay so I just create a page and then I'm going to create a new region over there. Uh, like test and so uh, I'm going to the reason type put the reason type as SQL PLSQL dynamic content and put here a query like a simple query to pull data from the database employees table and XML column so I just take a loop and uh, I use this HTTP to for taking an ID of this region I will share the code no problem so just using this code see what I did so using this code we can we can see the, the XML data actually this XML data visual this this format visualization data is come from this XML data okay let's see now uh, we're gonna see how we download this XML data into a text file. So for that we have to make a make a download uh, link something like this. So what I did, I use a code. Though it's a dynamic content, so I can use anything over there. So I just did it like a study http.p and it's a download that this one is the text file name like if i put there xml xml and then txt and it is something like this now what happened there is a download button but this button is not working yet because we have to use a javascript for text download txt download so I have a JavaScript 
code for downloading text i have to put this javascript code over there so what is this like here is the this one is the id what id we use for downloading the text see this id and this id is similar this one okay see so my javascript is done so now if i click there it's downloading xml let's see the xml so it's download downloaded so i think it's very easy you can do it i don't know which purpose you will you can use it but you can use it according to your purpose i just show you the way how we develop okay thank you bye